dreams. Also, be nice. When October comes, everyone wants a big titty goth girlfriend. Please don't adopt a goth only for Halloween. They require year-round enrichment, not one month of spooky movie marathons. Leave the care of these delicate and beautiful creatures in the hands of expert keepers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Halloween's more of a mindset, you know? It's, it's more of a lifestyle than it is a season. What's up, my bearders and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving into buy sexual memes. Might have forgotten what the name of the subreddit was for a moment there. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's get started. That's not bisexual lighting, girl. You are being pulled over. <laughs> That's dumb, I like it. <laughs> you are not alive just to pay bills and lose weight. You are alive to be bisexual, eat hot chip, and lie. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> I'm not worried about my boyfriend looking at other women's boobs because I'm looking to... Who's this? I'm bisexual and stupid. That's all I am. God looked at my terrible tiny little frame and said, You're going to be a little bisexual moron. Then released me into the world. People will be like, You're not bi. You have a boyfriend. Like, okay, you got no bitches. Does that make you asexual? Ah! <laughs> oh, get wrecked in public. <laughs> it's one of those, uh, one of those moments. I wish I had a spare mic so I could just, this one's attached. I can't, it doesn't have the same effect, you know? <laughs> love languages. My love language is physical touch. Mine is words of affirmation. You're so pretty. <laughs> I love you. My love language is frogs. Oh, oh no, look at that frog, it looks so sad. <laughs> Either or. I love you, daddy. <laughs> Is that <laughs> Is it Shrek 2 or Shrek 3? Or Shrek 4? How many how many Shreks are there now? <laughs> Everybody, talking about how gay the ancient Greeks were. Samurai. <laughs> Am I a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so you could say they were sword fighting in a historical way. Celebrities that came out as bisexual but never dated someone of the same gender. Okay, all right. Hmm. I ate bitches out before you was born. Sorry, I don't have razor phone pics to prove it to you. Cardi B! <laughs> razor phones! <laughs> I was so excited a few years ago when I found a razor phone at a secondhand store. I'm like, oh, I remember seeing these! <laughs> I like my women how I like my men. Looking like the opposite gender. Hey! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, completely valid. <laughs> Light Yagami did not deserve to have a hot goth girlfriend and an unkempt twink detective both be that obsessed with him. I would not have fumbled either of those bags personally. I have yet to meet a bi person who didn't exude chaotic energy. No matter good, neutral, or evil. Always chaotic. I love vague labels that make people go, But that's confusing. Or, But that could mean anything. Good. <laughs> Keep guessing, lol. Queer doesn't actually tell me anything. Who says I wanted to tell you anything? Who even are you? What are you doing in my house? <laughs> of yore! Tallulah Bankhead, 1902 to 68, claimed to have had over 5,000 lovers. Really? Your diary must have been packed full of people and events. At a society wedding, while the bride and groom were walking down the aisle, Tallulah remarked loudly, I've had both of them, darling, and neither of them is any good. Tallulah! <laughs> Tallulah, okay. <laughs> Let people enjoy a nice thing. 5,000! My actual hero. <laughs> Life hack! Here's how to put on a buy bracelet by yourself when no one else is gonna do that for you. Oh, that's a great life hack, and I'm going to commit it to memory, but you missed an opportunity for saying when you're by yourself, you know? <laughs> or when your date hasn't confirmed yet and you're on standby. <laughs> Why would bi women and lesbians fight when we could kiss instead? 
Someone, buy me a cross-legged office chair! <laughs> oh! Ah! By sitting, I see. <laughs> Arby, are you trying to tell us something? Hmm. Stepping in different shoes is like a new adventure. Barbie, really? <laughs> Can't spell Barbie without bye. It's Bisexual Awareness Week, so please leave cookies and oat milk and a copy of Howl's Moving Castle out for us tonight. Hi, <laughs> some mommy kissing. Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I saw Daddy kissing Howl last night. Number one on trending. Bisexuals. Biphobia check. Let autocorrect expose you. Bisexuals are... Oh, <laughs> I love these. <laughs> okay. Bi... Uh, bisexuals are... We going on a trip or not? Oh, so I can have a... Sleepover! <laughs> um, huh. <laughs> uh, let's, let's try that again. <laughs> Bisexuals are we going on a date? The bisexual experience. Pragmatic. Robotic. Chaotic. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Bisexuality be like? Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, my brain, stop. Ah, uh, my hands look like this. So his, hers, theirs can look like this. <laughs> I sometimes I wish all of you would stop trying to teach me things because I do read the comments and like I see the ones that fly by. Ah, the nails. I wonder if OT knows and then full on explanation. Not that I ever asked for that, I don't think, <laughs> but um. Yeah, there's still the casual person that's like, I didn't really get the, I didn't get the nails one. Can you, what does that mean? <laughs> Original theory. Succubi are always women. Incubi are always men. Huh. <laughs> Facts. In fact, succubus comes from the Latin word subscribe. Oh, like all of you can do to this channel today. <laughs> I think I read that wrong. <laughs> it comes from the Latin word sacabre. Yeah, yeah, I goofed that one. <laughs> Which means to lie under. And incubus comes from the Latin word incu- in incubre. Which means to lie upon. New improved theory. Incubi are always tops and succubi are always bottoms. Gender doesn't matter at all. Huh. <laughs> Addendum. If the sex demon is in- What? If the sex demon in question is versatile, they're a concubus from the Latin word to lie with slash bestie. Proper Latin headcanon accepted. Huh. <laughs> Can I just take a minute to say, I really appreciate being able to make all these videos with you because we get to learn so many new cool fun facts, whether they're cool new animal facts, which please write animal facts on every video. Just write fun animal facts on every video. I read through the comments. I will read every single one of them. But like we get to learn cool facts like Latin is a language. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'll spoil it. Maybe I knew that one. <laughs> but this is cool. I didn't know that a sex demon. <laughs> Aw. Bestie. <laughs> Bisexuals will be 20 minutes into a movie and type in cast of on Google. I squinted for a solid 30 seconds at the phrase soy bisexual, trying to figure out what this latest insult meant until I went a little bit further and realized I was reading a tweet in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Soy bisexual. <laughs> See? <laughs> My taste in women. <laughs> Is that lean beef patty? My taste in men. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, if you're not gay, my friend thinks you're cute. Here's her number. <gasps> and if you are gay, here's mine. <laughs> the guy getting the note who is in fact bisexual. Ah, <laughs> uh, but, uh... Smooching sounds! Smooching sounds! These are the sounds of kissing! Oh! Oh! Smooch! More smooching sounds! I'm a librarian! Soy librarian! Donde es la biblioteca? Pumpkin toadlet! This frog is bad at basically everything! Oh, this is. I think this is the frog that. um. 
Uh, this is the frog that can't jump, right? It'll jump. It'll rocket itself forwards, but it just tumbles and like it's it's haphazard the way that it falls. Oh, <laughs> why is this on the bisexual? Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> 1924. 2022. Men now versus then. <laughs> Hey, fella, come on now. You think there weren't any feminine men back then? Sheesh. <laughs> you think there aren't any big, strong, muscular men today? Do you think do you think all the all the feminine cat made boys <laughs> just like wiped out all the muscular men? If that's the case, by your logic, would that not make them the most masculine? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, whoever's become top dominant in who whoever who's that whomever has surpassed the other that is then the more masculine thing right uh, sheesh. <laughs> i'm bisexual in the sense that i like women and femboys a thread of many evil jokes that still go kind of hard a florentine had in his home a young man who instructed his children in the elements of knowledge after a long stay the young tutor felt himself so much at home that he had in turn the housemaid the nurse and finally the mistress herself Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> when the master of the house, who was a jovial fellow, discovered this, he summoned the young man to his private chamber and said, <gasps> I find it unmannerly of you, sir, that in taking your pleasure of my entire household, you have made an exception of me. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> every time I like or reblog a post, I leave a little bit of man residue on it. Every time I reply or add commentary to a reblog, that's five times as much man residue. Me following your blog means your whole blog has man residue. I'm spreading it everywhere. Please provide context. This sounds hilarious. Here you go. I understand the argument against biphobia, but I also understand the argument for lesbians not wanting to date bisexual women. Man residue, TM, is a real thing that affects the relationships of all women who deal with men romantically. Oh my f God! She's unironically saying men have cooties. Now that this is blown up, I want everyone reblogging it to know their blog has man residue on it. Reblog to get man residue on your blog. Oh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> I mean, it's a fun. It, it, it's a fun way to confront biphobia. Phrasing could have been changed, but <laughs> Universal Pictures. These two raised a generation of bisexuals. <laughs> Soy librarian. <laughs> You're probably wondering what a place like me is doing in a girl like this. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the best movie of all time. I don't know if you haven't seen it yet. I, I might have mentioned it once or twice that it's a good movie. I don't know. The Mummy, just go watch it. I wonder how common it is for straight dudes to be having dreams like this and repressing them or shrugging them off. All right. Let's find out. <laughs> you guys ever had a sus dream? Bro, I had a dream the other day. Bro, in my dream, I was getting, I was getting fucked in my dream. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> He's smiling a little too much. Yeah. I was clapping, and then they were clapping me. <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck? So I had a dream where I, I was pregnant. I had a belly. And I uh -huh. was like, I was tripping out. I was like, bro, I gotta get a plan B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I had one where like, I was a chick, and like I was jumping on onto a dude. <laughs> I think it's kind of sweet. I, th I think maybe the reactions aren't as matured as we would hope, but like I think it's really cute that they, that the fellows can just get together and giggle about how they're how they're fantasizing about other guys. I <laughs> I think it's a step forward in, in progressing some of their conversations towards self discovery, and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. People are going to be very clumsy and stumble a lot in the first conversations, especially when broaching them with a, with a group of fellows that where they might this might not be a regular talking point with them. They're doing their best to figure themselves out. I think that's kind of sweet. Aww. <laughs> Bisexuals! That's an important announcement. I almost forgot to post this. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. Okay, um, hashtag boob69. Hashtag 420A55. Oh, the funny numbers. Oh, good job. <laughs> Bisexuals are valid. Why is this weak ass? Font over a lake and some mountains. They deserve better. <laughs> Bisexuals are valid. <laughs> Bisexual noises. Explosions. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I am the ultimate bisexual. <laughs> IDR lab sexual orientation test. Your sexual orientation is there. 
How did you nail that? Your sexual orientation is 100% heterosexual and 100% homosexual, which places you in the bisexual quadrant. That is amazing. I kind of want to look up this test now. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah. Sexual orientation test. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> All right, maybe not today, but I, I, I kind of do want to take this. I think that'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> Ask a bisexual what order their flag colors are in without looking, and they're going to pause for a second. Mind you, it's only three colors, and they're still going to pause every time. Watching y'all answer completely wrong with absolute confidence is truly something, child. <laughs> Bisexuals in a nutshell. Ah, uh, it's, um, <laughs> now this got me confused. <sighs> Here's a bit of a life hack. It's like a sunset, okay? We which means the super bright colors on top and then the middle ones in the middle and the blue ones on the bottom. If you trust me on that. <laughs> Honk, if you'd rather be watching the 1999 cinematic masterpiece, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Wise. I don't have a honk button, but I got one of these. <laughs> that counts, right? <laughs> oh, so you're straight now? Oh, so you're gay now? Oh, so you're asexual now? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Days! What's your favorite way to sit wrong in a chair? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, oh, hmm. Uh, wait, what? Oh! Ah, no! Ah, no! No! Ah, what? <laughs> wait, just not on the chair? <laughs> not sitting on a chair is not a way to sit on a chair. You're just not sitting on a chair. I don't know why I'm mad. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to be heterosexual. Oh no. People post this sort of positivity that's like, I people with a preference for women are valid. I people with a preference for men are valid. And yeah, sure. But also hyperanalyzing your bisexuality is not necessary. The fact that you've dated or liked or slept with more men or more women doesn't have to say anything about your bisexuality. Your bisexuality does not have to be measured and counted and have a pie diagram I'm showing gender percentages. You can just be bisexual. Thinking about my friend who wanted to explore her bisexuality and finally plucked up the courage to go to an introduction to beavers workshop at the lesbian camp at a festival we were at. And it was an ecologist talking about beavers, the mammal, for 90 minutes. <sighs> <laughs> The dating app Bumble surveyed more than 4,000 users in the US, UK, and Ireland, Australia, and Canada. In August 2020, data received by the BBC Work Life, and 21% said they were planning to express their sexuality differently compared to a year ago. Another Bumble survey showed 14% shifted their sexual desires during the pandemic, opting, for example, for the same sex relationships when they'd previously only been with those of another gender. Additionally, research conducted between March and July 2020 among LGBTQ plus respondents by the Social Relations, Attitudes, and Diversity Lab in Ontario's Trent University, reviewed by BBC Work Life, showed that 11% felt their ability to be out about their identity had changed as a result of COVID-19. Of those, several reported that this took place because during the pandemic, they had time to myself to figure out my sexual identity. Before the pandemic, Lauren says she barely had free time among working, going to school, and her social life. I couldn't deal with any big life changing shifting identities felt like a big change, but the mandatory slowdown gave her the space she needed to re-examine her sexuality, giving people the ability to break free from the normal monotony of driving an hour one way to work each day. Ah! <laughs> Frees up so many hours in the week that they could be spending elsewhere. Plus, working at home helped so many people find out who they really were. That's really gosh darn sweet. Asexuals are confused. Bisexuals are confused. Pansexuals are confused. Homosexuals are confused. Heterosexuals are confused. Everyone is confused as to why you think you should have a say about a relationship that doesn't involve you. This ended so nicely. And also how to do taxes. We're confused about how to do taxes too. <laughs> that was a nice way to end things. You know what? That's the end of our video today. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> I tried to record a different video before this one and it, it completely crashed my computer and my software and I've been sick lately. I'm just going to take a day off. And then you know what? No, we get a video today. Anyways, thank you for subscribing lately. I've been noticing that YouTube's YouTube's antics of unsubscribing people from the channel lately has been slightly less effective because more of you have decided to become roommates of the channel. And those of you who have become channel members are actually pitching in towards rent. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one where we take it. Why?
one topic at a time. Roll that outro! Boop! Get out of here! I need to, I need to leave. <laughs>